Hello, my name is Ever McKinney and I am an Information Assistant at John Marshall Library. I'd like to welcome you to this introductory tutorial to Fold3. Fold3 is a database of military records you can access for free through Fairfax County Public Library using your library card. Before we get to the database itself, I'd like to show you how to get there. This is our library homepage, www.fairfaxcounty.gov slash library. And from here, you'll want to scroll down to where it says Research Center under Department Resources. Click on Research Center and then click on Research Databases. Where you see this row of letters, you can click on F to find our databases that start with the letter F. Scroll down until you see Fold 3 and then click on this link. On this page, you will be prompted to enter your library card number. Here we are at the Fold 3 database homepage, and now I'd like to tell you a little more about what you will see here. Fold 3 is primarily a database of military records spanning from the American Revolution up into present day conflicts. These records consist of reports, photographs, personal documents like correspondence, different types of monuments, awards, and logs. These records are also primarily United States military records, but there are also records from places like Britain, Australia, and New Zealand. Fold 3 also has an extensive collection of African American and Native American materials. Fold 3's homepage typically shows you new and highlighted document collections, as well as tutorials and videos to assist you while using this site. For our purposes today, I'm going to walk you through three major sections of this database. The Search feature, the Memorials feature, and the Browse feature. I have just clicked on the search feature of Fold3 to use their search engine. Fold3 has really stepped up their search engine in recent years, so now you can search in a variety of ways. If you click on Filter, you can search by keyword, name, date, place, and military term. And if you hover over each filter, you are presented with more choices for your search terms. Other filters on the bottom provides additional miscellaneous filters to search by. Today I'm going to click on the name filter and the example I will use is the name Roger Kidwell. Roger Kidwell is a family member of mine who was killed in the Vietnam War. When I enter his name, many search results appear. If this happens for you as well, you can check off additional limiters on the left side of the page. These include the name of the conflict or war, the place name associated with your subject, and if you continue to scroll through this list of limiters, you will also see that you can limit by military branch, rank, award, cause of death, and other search limiters. Because I know Roger Kidwell served during the Vietnam War, I'm going to click See All under Conflict slash War. And then I'm going to check off Vietnam War in the pop-up box. When I click Done, I now have four results. I do know that Roger Kidwell's middle name is Jean, and when I click on this link, a new page appears with more information about his service and death. This particular type of page is called a memorial page, which actually segues nicely into the next section that I'd like to share with you in Fold 3, the memorials. You can search memorial pages by going back to the top of the page and clicking on Memorials. If you search your soldier's name here, you will either see your soldier's memorial page listed in your search results, or you will be given the option to create a memorial page. This feature is one of the greatest things about Fold3 because this is a great opportunity for patrons to contribute to this database and in some cases literally put a face and a story along with a deceased service member. 
As you can see, this is the bare bones of a memorial page. As you click through each section, you can find more details about your soldier, and you can also add your own stories, as well as your own photographs. While we are discussing memorials, I'd also like to point out that Fold3 has added search capabilities to two major U.S. War memorials, the Vietnam Wall and the USS Arizona, so you can search both of these memorials through this database. Now I'd like to go back to the Browse feature. Once you click on the Browse feature, the first major list you see here contains all the major U.S. conflicts as well as a section on international military records, which is where those British records I was talking about earlier are contained, as well as non-military records, which contain things like census records and city directories. To show you how this works, I'm just going to perform a basic search for any Civil War photograph taken in the state of Virginia. What we're going to do first is click on Civil War. This then brings up a menu of publication types. We're going to scroll down and click on this general section of Civil War photos. You'll notice here that this brings up almost 7,000 photographs. So at any point in your search, you can enter keywords in the search box above to narrow down what you are looking for. However, there are quite a few photographs of Virginia in the Civil War because most of it was here. So I'm just going to click on the first Virginia related title that I see here. And now we are presented with a thumbnail. Once you click on the thumbnail of your chosen photograph, you will be presented with an enlarged image of that photograph, along with some information about it on the left side of the page. There are several things you can do with this photograph. You can either zoom in or zoom out. You can fit it to your window. You can adjust brightness and contrast. You can rotate it. And you can also fit the photograph to the size of your screen. Under the Tools section here, you can also search within the image. You can download it, print it, add it to your memorial page, or share it on social media. The film strip down below, which you can toggle on or off by clicking the film strip button, continues to show you thumbnails of other photographs from the browse results that you had on the previous page. So those are the three major sections that I wanted to introduce to you on the Fold3 database. The search feature, the memorials feature, and the browse feature. If at any time you need additional help navigating this database, there are video tutorials and there is a help section up here that you can explore. Thank you very much for listening and I hope that this video encourages you to make use of this incredible resource.